Important news coming out this week in that uh, the IMG gradings are released. So as we stand right now, the, each club will know their score of yeah, their yeah, I, t- IMG yes. grading. Today, 10.30, yes, so it's happened, yeah. Yeah, so it's, then, I don't know when you'll watch this, but tomorrow they'll then receive... Tuesday, yeah. So, yeah, they'll re- then receive all the other clubs' of scores, and then the official release of the results are on Wednesday at 10.30. Yeah, but we don't need to wait till Wednesday, because by Tuesday at 10 o'clock, <laughs> Derek Beaumont's <laughs> going to be on Twitter, <laughs> and it's going to be going off. He'll have worked it out. Yeah, so, it, um, well, yeah, they're going to get everybody else's scores and... There'll be an embargo on it, but yeah. it'll come out. On 100% it'll come out. Okay, so just a little bit on that then. So first of all, the five criteria, some of you may not know this. So the five criteria that IMG are going to do their ratings on um, or are going to update their ratings on, first of all, fandom, on-field performance, finance, stadium, and then community. So they're the main sort of aspects that they're going to look at. Now, when you look at Super League and how it's unfolded, there are some clubs that we know are are going to be pretty safe. I'm talking Wigan, Saints, Warrington, um, Hull KR, Catalans, more than likely will, you know, guaranteed to retain their grade A status. News coming out of Lee and Wakefield is that they believe that they're going to get an A. And I dare say Lee are probably on track for that. We don't know their financial situation. What are you smirking at, Carl? (laughs) It's just just Derek again, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's, he's already commented, yeah, we're we're a grade A club. (laughs) And and if that's all it takes, everybody should be just getting in in, in the press code. Yeah, we're a grade A club. No, but if you look at their performance on field, what they've done, their you know, the, the way that they're bringing in their community and stuff, they, they've, they've got to be very, very close to an A. Wake it, believe they are going to pick up an A as well. And um, and so you've got to think that like like Castleford... Castleford have come out saying that they believe they're a grade A club now. Well, I, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. They're, they're, I think they're going to be high B. Better than they were. Yeah. Um, so Hopefully they submit the data right this, right, this time. That's to be seen. Um, and you've got to say that the biggest loser this year is has got to be Hull FC. Like with their, their on-field performance, you know, some of the upset within their club. I know they're still getting massive crowds, but each of these, you know, the, the, the fandom thing, it, there is a cap on it. There is only so many points you can get. So it doesn't, having a lot of fans turn up for your games doesn't offset your on-field performance. I'll throw I'll throw one out to you with fandom and social media followings and stuff like that. Point out a club to me that you don't think's done very well on social media this year. I don't, I don't No one really springs to mind. I, 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 but I can I can pick out a couple that I think have done really really well. Yeah, go on then. I think London have done incredibly well. I, I thought what they did on social media throughout the whole season has been has been exceptional, really. Um, obviously, the the big you know the big clubs Wigan hmm, Saints weren't exactly brilliant, were they? Warrington, I think they've done really well. Yeah, Hull War- Warrington KR social media is solid. Um, Hull KR are just riding a wave at the minute. It's everything they're doing just coming off for them. I think I think Hull FC's social media has been really poor this year. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I follow all the Super League clubs, and I don't think it's just on their on-field performance that's letting them down. I think. It'd be interesting when we see the numbers, but yeah, I'd say I don't think theirs has been great. Okay, other than that, it's doubtful that anyone other than London are going to drop out of the Super League. I was going to say to you, do you think we're basing all of this on what we're hearing in the media, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going, right, yeah, Wakey are clearly going up because that's what everybody's saying and, uh, you know, they've started the stadium out and things like that. But I'm just wondering if there's an absolute shock about to come. Now, I've heard a, a little rumour. Go on then. Bradford could be up there. Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not saying where the sources came from, but I've I've heard that um, yeah, Bradford are doing very well. I, yeah. know, I know some people are going to shoot, jump down my neck for that, but I don't know. Just, I'm just wondering if there's going to be a, like a shock just come out of nowhere. But in order for in order for Bradford to go up, someone else got to come down, haven't they? Well, we know we're pretty much certain London are going to drop out. Yeah, because you can't go. For, they were ranked 24th last year. You just can't accrue enough points. Yeah, they're going to see a huge increase, which we already know because they're in Super League at the minute. So, but yeah, they're not going to be. They're not going to do enough to to retain a, a Super League position next year. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens when it all comes out in the wash this week. But it'd be interesting if there was a bit of a a shocker in there that just if people haven't predicted. 
Mm. Obviously, this gets released 10.30 on the 23rd, which is Wednesday. We're going to do a reaction video almost as soon as we can, probably drop that on Thursday morning, where we're going to go right dive, deep into the results, the gradings as they come out, um, and any upsets, as called by Carl. And we're also going to do a deep dive into the gradings handbook, which is a document you can get on the RFL website. But I think some of you may not have seen that and may not quite understand where these gradings come from and it's quite an interesting read um, and it is just a playbook for clubs to look at and go right how can we increase our score you know and to, and to follow that along so we're going to look at that plus the reaction on Thursday yes